Well, welcome back, folks, to Scripting for Linguists. In this episode, I have this question for us. Does Rust work quicker than Python on native Python data structures? You may say, what the heck are you talking about? What I'm talking about is using Rust within Python, having Rust call, having Python call Rust. So here's a, um, a little script here that has a Rust function that is using the py03 package. Now, in a previous video, link to above and below or the side, I found that Rust was much quicker than Python when you call Rust from within Python with this, this crate, this py03 package. So I had Python give Rust a big string and then have Rust do all the work of finding the frequencies of the words in that string, then hand back a hash map that was converted into a dictionary to Python. It was more than twice as quick to have Rust do that than just to let Python do its own dictionary. My next follow-up question is, well, is it quicker to have Rust actually work directly on native data structures in Python? That is a dictionary and a list. So to that end, I'm using the PyO3 package. And I have this little function here that I call get frequencies pi native types. So I pass in a list from Python, and it's um, a pi list, what's called a pi list in the PyO3 package. I also pass in a Python dictionary as a pi dict into Rust through the PyO3 package. And then I have it looped over, I have it loop over the list of words. And then I have it um, get the current word. I have it get the current value. I have it extracted out. Good, good, good. Then I have it set the item right there in the dictionary. Again, this is Rust operating directly on native Python data structures. That is looping over a list in Python, the native Python list and populating a native Python dictionary using Rust to do that. So is it gonna be quicker or not? That is the question I have. And so here is my Python script. And here is a small function to do what we are doing over there. Just pass in a list of words and a dictionary and have Python um, loop over the list and populate the dictionary. Again, it's simply uh, modifying in place. There's no reason to return anything out of this function. That's exactly what we did over in Rust. Let me jump back over to Rust. Right there with the OK double uh, double parentheses there, it means it's a void function. It's not going to return anything because it's operating directly on the pi dict that we pass in. So I let this rip. I um, I like to jump back over to Python here. I opened up a big file that has 230 million words in it. I opened up another connection to a CSV file to go out. I read in the words, uppercase them, found all the words with a regular expression in Python. And then I have it um, loop over thousand word increments. That is, start with a thousand words, throw the thousand words at Python, as well as at Python and having Rust do the work of actually populating the dictionary, looping over the, the list in Python. And um, then keep track. I have it do 10 trials in each of those 1,000 word increments. And so here's the Python, very simple uh, little thing. Create an empty dictionary and then pass in the number of words right there on line 30, and then also pass in the dictionary. Again, it's gonna modify in place. There's no reason to return it out. Good, I have it write out these words just to make sure we're getting the same counts, these three random words. And then here's the Python, or excuse me, here's the Rust um, module, as well as the function that operates directly on Python data structures, that is list and uh, dictionary in this case. So I have it write out the, the times as well. So the big question is, is it actually quicker to have Rust do Python's work within with Rust data structures, a list and a dictionary? At the bottom part of my screen, you can probably see I'm using Python 3.12.4, I'm using Rust 1.79.0, and I'm using Maturin 1.70, which is the um, Python package to have Rust and um, Python talk to each other. Okay, so let's just scroll up a little bit here. We can take a look at it. I let it run for a couple hours and it got all the, way up, all the way up to 5 million words. So let's take a look here. So when we're looking at 5 million words, um, we get the same number of frequencies of the, tree, and food, just kind of random words in those, um, just to make sure we get the same results from both Python alone as well as Python <coughs> I'm using Rust to, to work on its own native data types or data structures. Excuse me. <clears throat> so what is this? Python took 387 milliseconds. And then Python having Rust do its work for it 
within Python took 345 milliseconds. Oh, that's interesting. Let's jump up, just jump way up here to something else. What, how many words? So oh, that's still about 5,000 words or 5 million words, that is. Anyway, so 387 milliseconds and 344. Okay, so not much of a difference, but a slight speed up there with Rust with those two random uh, iterations I looked at. Let's take a look at our old friend R and see what we see when we plot all the data points up. Here we go. So this is a truckload of trials and um, the green is Python and the red is Rust. And what do we see? Okay, so yeah, it's a bit quicker. That red line, the red dots there is kind of forming a line. Those, those are Rust um, points. That is Python asking Rust to do its work on its own native dictionary and list. And the green um, is Python working on its own data structures. So there is a slight speed up there, right? That red line is slightly below the green line. Okay, so if we jump back to this question, does Rust work quicker than Python on native Python data structures? It does, let's go back, it does a bit there, but as you can see, there's not much of a speed up. There's a slight speed up because the red data, data points by and large are below the green data points, but there's not much there. So the more practical question might be, is it worth it to write some Rust code to have Rust work on native Python data structures the way I'm doing it here? Probably not, probably not. I'm not sure it's worth it to get that little bit of speed up. There's a slight speed up there, but again, it's not much. The better way I show in another video, the other video below, link to above and below, is to just let Rust do all its work in Rust and then pass back a hash map at the end. That's quicker, that's two times quick. But here, when you're asking your Rust to work on a native Python data structure, that is looping over an, um, a native Python list and a native Python dictionary, it's not much quicker. It is slightly quicker, but probably not worth your while in trying to write some Rust code, unless you already know Rust really well. So there you have it. Rust is, again, quicker, but only slightly when it's working directly on the Python data structures of a list and a dictionary in Python. Um, but from practical, from a practical point of view, it may not be worth it. it. Might be, you know, it'd be better to write more Rust and let Rust do the majority of the work. So there you go. That's the answer to that question. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. See you later.